Hey guys, Third Street Reactions here. I'm Shane and I'm back with Season 3, Episode 10 of The Umbrella Academy. The Finale. Guys, if you hear some, I apologize. I am really sorry. I'm at my parents very late and my two-year-old is here and she's getting impatient. But uh, I'm excited to watch this finale. And if you guys haven't subscribed to our Patreon to see full length, I think Umbrella Academy by itself is worth it because I love that show. Episode nine, the image that is just stuck in my mind is Hargreaves impaling Luther with his alien arm tentacle thingy. It's either gonna be a wedding or a funeral that brings everyone together and the wedding didn't work. Everyone agrees to go through the portal and Klaus especially, who's been on his father's side the whole time, voted to go in there. He gets screwed over to the end. He gets pushed out basically saying that you're more trouble than you're worth, I'm sorry. He jumps and impales himself on the buffalo horns. I think he's going to get resurrected into the other dimension because the buffalo's connected. I'm really wondering how they're going to get this all together. I love this show. I think this is like my favorite show that I do, guys. I appreciate everyone who's been watching. Obviously, you guys are going to know if it's good or not. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it's a great finale. Go to our Patreon right now. Give us some support. And you can have two weeks early access for all our other non-live shows. All right, guys. We're going to jump into the finale right now. All right. So, how are they going to wrap this up? How are they going to bring my boy back? Both my boys. Luther and Klaus? What do you say reality? Allison. Will we ever know the shape of reality? Or otter still does it have a shape other than the one we give it? Wow. Makes you feel tiny, huh? Why would you put pineapple on a pizza? Dude, pineapple's good on pizza. Yeah. Pineapple does not belong on a pizza. How many times do I have to tell you? Where exactly are we? I'm dead, man. Welcome to my hood. There's a chick again. I'm glad to see them there. Oh, wait a minute. So they're dead, and they haven't been claimed by the Kubelets. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're dead, right? As the Dougie, baby. <laughs> As the Dougie. Yeah. So what happens if I do this? Really sure that he could kill Luther. I think he could kill Luther, Klaus, and the rest of us without breaking a moral sweat. What's worse, I think Allison is involved. <laughs> She's been unraveling since we got to this timeline. Yeah, she lost her daughter. And she killed Harlan. Yeah. We need to talk. I'm quite busy. Could it wait? No, it can't. If I find out you're bullshitting the old man, the deal is off. I can assure you I will keep my side of our agreement, and I expect you to do the same. Now that we've had a chance to catch our breath, the real work can begin. Huh. The myth of the seven bells, eh? Exactly. Somebody's been paying attention. OK, so we find the bells, then what? Then for Allison, we've trained together, so it makes more sense huh. if we take Allison. Yeah. Splendid idea. Allison, you go with the umbrellas. Sparrows stick together. Everyone take a different floor. We must find that city. What about us? You're a duo. Nobody wants to listen to your endless bickering. Did you hear that? He called us a duo. <laughs> then your father's starting to grow on me. I forgot my journal. Go on. I'll meet you on five. What the hell's he doing? You and Dad made some kind of deal. <laughs> what did you agree to? You're out of your mind. You and Dad make a deal, now Luther's dead. Okay. Luther was killed by whatever the hell that thing is. Klaus, he didn't make it into the tunnel. Wait, five... Allison. Just listen to me. Did Reggie count on this happening? Is it a different dimension now? Victor, Allison. Oh, no. Okay. behind that crazy bullshit is a good and decent person. You sure? Ugh. One thousand percent. How can he be so sure, though? Can't believe I'm saying this. I'm actually glad to see you guys. What's 
strong. The hotel is changing. I've been walking around in circles, but it's... Please, how do we get back to the way things were? You know, before that fake apology. And the lies? Allison, come on, how do we do that? I don't know that we can. I get it. I get it. Problem, Dad? You miss me. Those dollar stores which are quite freeze. Hold on. That's that. Is he trying to resurrect his wife? How'd he miss? Revenge looks good on her. Would you shut up and help us kill this thing? You don't just stand there, you dipshit. You're making us Asians look bad. Oh, shit. Victor? Allison? Victor! That's, that's, that sucks. Allison! Jake, no, 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 don't do this. When the baby gets here, tell him or her about the man I was. The man I tried to be. That's very, very noble, actually. Let's kill this thing. Wait, Sloan. Hey, asshole! <laughs> Ben, you gotta step up for all us Asians, baby. Come on. Die saving everyone, maybe. Good job, family. I love this fucking show. Allison! I'm tired of running. Me too. Victor should be able to kill that motherfucker, right? I don't remember. Yeah, okay. Season two finale. Oh my god, Klaus! Lila! Are you okay? Klaus! Did you get out? What happened? We thought you tied. Oh, hey. if only. Hey. Hey, you okay? Yeah. That 3D floor is really fucking with me. We just did. So did we. I told you to stay in the. I knew that was going to happen. Diego reminds me of me. He's a little old-fashioned, but he chose a strong-willed woman, too, so you give him credit for that. Dad killed Luther. And he locked me out of the tunnel, and he rang that stupid bell. What's your plan, old man? We don't have time for this. You killed Luther? I had no choice. Hey, I found the sigil! It's on the... <laughs> Jesus! Come on, damn it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so happy. What's this fuck? Are those holes? Ah! Oh, cockroaches! I hate cockroaches. You wasted my life on the moon, and for what? I left you to guard the most precious thing in the universe. And what was it? You'll soon understand. She's gonna die. Something's gonna happen. Oh no! Is he fading? It's because, is he tied to Klaus? Oh no. 
I will love you forever. Okay. <laughs> Fucking. That was a good. Now, I still don't want them to die. I don't care if that was a good ending. I want them to come back again. Yeah, he'll come back to life, right? Jeez. Oh, I fucking hate holes. The sigil is in the lobby floor. It's the stars. Children, find a star on the sigil. Stand on it. Where's Luther? No. Not you. Stand that cockroach man. Everything in life has a price. Jesus. I didn't work on him. Jesus. Do you trust me? You don't know what it's going to do. They're all fucked up. Just kill my ass. And take away this handsome face. I don't know if it'll be the end. What's wrong, Mama? <laughs> Nothing, baby. No, I'm just so happy. That's that It's where you always meant to be. Luther? Luther? It's not Jack. Something's wrong. That's right, something's wrong. You're about to get your ass kicked. Mortal again? Oh man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How do we get him back, you idiots? I gotta I, I gotta go find my wife. No! Luther, you can't go. You were dead five minutes ago. You're fragile. Uh, I gotta go after him. No, no, wait, Klaus, wait! I'm out, bitches. Oh guys, come on, we should stick together and figure this well, out. What are we supposed to do? Live our lives. Really? Guys, that was my reaction to the finale, and this is my review. Overall, I thought it was really good. There was a lot of emotional highs for me. I, I guess, I mean, I, he's obviously trying to bring back his wife. And I can't not think about, hey, we got one more season after this to wrap it up. Are we going to be able to do it? Luther's wife is gone. Allison is now in her own world with her husband and her daughter. So she's in, like, her perfect world. But I guess the question is, is that real? And I imagine there will be a time when maybe she realizes it's not real. And she can choose to stay, like in the Matrix, stay in the dream, or go and be with her family. Oh man, I I'm pretty satisfied with the finale. I don't really know what I was expecting. But I am kind of surprised. I, I definitely knew that the children had something to do with bringing his wife back. Whatever they did, now his wife is back in this dimension. Luther and Klaus in the afterlife, in the beginning, they were waxing philosophical. Well, Luther was on death in the afterlife and the insignificance of you know, being specks of sand in a desert, which is a speck of sand in a desert of deserts. Which maybe that has something to do with the message of the show is that these guys are specks of sand and there's infinite realities. So that spaceship obviously lives outside of space and time and whoever built reality built that place. And he disguised a hotel around it, led his children there to uh, jumpstart bringing back his wife or or finding a reality where his wife can live. In the afterlife, Klaus feels no pain, even though Luther was beating the shit out of him. And I thought you can't eat raw fish when you're pregnant. Maybe I'm wrong. Allison talking to Victor, or Victor, you know, saying, how can we get back to 
where we were, who we were before all this. You know, what Allison said, you know, I, I have relationships that I thought I'd have my whole life, and, and now I don't have any more. It's, it's pretty crazy, and I, don't, and I feel like, I guess I'm just so angry and lonely, and I don't think we can ever go back to where we were. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it kind of rang home. The Guardians were cool, but I hate their true form. Just this fucking nest, this walking corpse with all these holes or all these cockroaches crawl in and out of. Absolutely terrible. I'm really interested in Hargreaves and ultimately, like, you know, who he is and what he'll do to accomplish his goal. It seems like he'll do a lot, but would he destroy the universe? Would he kill all his children to get his wife back? He seemed to never really care about them, and Klaus got him to open up a little bit, but in the end, he still had a plan to bring his wife back, and he used Klaus and used his children to get that done. I mean, I kind of answered my own question. He was willing to at least let them suffer for a long period of time to the point of death. Thankfully, Allison, I don't want to say Allison, yeah, Allison killed him, killed that version of him. But, like, it's, it's crazy, because he was talking, like, I sent you to the moon, for a purpose, you're regarding something, and it's like, is Hargreaves kind of like this fixed point in all the universes? Early on in the season, it made it seem like he was completely unaware of the other actions of his other version of himself. It felt like his children and himself referred to him as, as like this omnipresent father that accompanied both of the realities that we've seen. But he is an alien, so, uh, you know, we get to see that, obviously, when he killed Luther, and we got to see, uh, you know, when he was kind of chopped, uh, when his head was sliced open, we got to see a little bit of his true form. It looked to me kind of uh, like robotic. Yeah, I mean, I imagine in the final series, very sad to say that, actually. I, I love this fucking show. In the final season, I imagine that in the beginning, they're all going to be different places, living their own lives in this reality. I'm wondering, I'm, I'm wondering, is Diego and Lila, are they still going to have their baby, hopefully? Is Luther going to be just this bearded drunk because he hasn't because he hasn't been able to find Sloan? I do think it's odd that they're all going to divide up. I mean, I definitely imagine that they're not going to all be a happy family in the beginning of next season. They're going to have to come together for a common goal. I do like how Ben is here, though. How do we bring everyone back together? Is Allison willing to leave what she has now to join her family and confront whatever threat is going to be in the next season? Maybe it's the father. I don't know. It's interesting that time reset and you know, all the battle damage was kind of negated. I think that's all, it makes sense, but it's also kind of cheap because it's like, oh man, he got his arms sliced off, he got his fingers sliced off. On the bright side, they did take away all their powers. So the status quo, it has definitely changed. Guys, it wasn't my favorite finale, but maybe none of the finales were, really. I really liked it though. I can't wait for the next season. I'm sad that there's only one more season, but if they have noticed that, hey, this is going to be your last season, then hopefully the writers can go out with a bang. And after this, maybe I'll get into the comic book. Guys, I'm out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching my reaction. And, uh, you know, I know Zach was with us in the beginning, and then he dropped off. But I hope you enjoyed the series. I certainly did. Love the show so much. If you like us, you want to support us, like and subscribe. Hit that notification. Leave a comment down below. And if you don't want to join us on Patreon, just hit that thanks button. It's another way to support us, guys. Much love, and see you later.